Hey guys, what's up? Several months ago, I shared with you a video on how I bought the cheapest espresso machine that I can find on Lazada. Now, I actually got a bit of criticism on that video because I use this blade grinder for grinding my coffee beans. And since admittedly, I'm quite a new when it comes to espresso and all this coffee business, I was told that I should have a proper coffee grinder. I didn't know what a proper coffee grinder was. Surprisingly, with my use of a blade grinder, I felt like I was a savage. I'm a savage. Um, I've had this coffee grinder for a while. I've been using it for my drip coffee machine or for my French press. I just found out that I shouldn't be using a blade grinder. So I ended up ordering this burr grinder this time from Shopee. And this was actually recommended by one of my viewer commenters who told me that he got a good deal for a grinder for about 1,500 pesos. I bought this at the recent Shopee for for sale and today I'll be unboxing that for you. So here we've got the box marked as fragile. Let's tear to this box. I'm using my scissors for easier opening and I'm trying to pry this open. You see that it's sealed pretty well with some good bubble wrap. using some scissors again and oops oop oh wait a minute I think I just cut myself and yeah I did great going mark anyway so let's peel this box open let's peel it bit by bit just like a banana um, I like this like polka dot pattern so it's still not free this box is pretty stuck this box within a box so yeah that polka dot pattern reminds me of like 1950s home appliances anyway it's branded as coffee mill you see that a lot of these China brands that I'm actually buying are all generically branded basically they're not branded so anyway so let's pry it open and we have here the manual and it does not look easy guys it does not look easy for me to understand um, lots of instructions um, anyway I hope those are just guidelines on parts I don't I hope I don't have to assemble it so let's get the tire open and open sesame let's start with this plastic container i think this is the one you put on top where you put the coffee beans and yep and let's lift this black shiny machine it's kind of heavy i think this would be around five pounds let's look through it a lot of reminders here and there um that's always good so you know what not to do <laughs> nice heavy steel this is the on and off button of course it's not yet plugged and this is the fuse yep and this is the container where the coffee grinded coffee beans would get into and yep looks pretty standard and more reminders and let's snap this back on and whoop what was that um I think I just broke this little piece, this little curvature of a thing. Anyway, it's plastic, uh, but yep, I've already broken it. Um, so yeah, so this is the main knob which you use as the dial for the type of grind that you would like to use. There's a coarse and fine grind and medium of course. So let's put the plastic on top and let's take it for a test run all right let's open it and i'm using these beans from timor again from this from mycoffeelab.com just as i had in my previous video as i mentioned let's not put too much because we're just really testing it i don't want to waste too much so let's hear that baby grind and wow it's a nice grinding sound to it it's a burr which is is it why they call it a burr grinder anyway so let's see I, yep those beans look finely grounded um, they look like fine sand and yeah I think this is this might be better than what my blade grinder does all right guys so what do you think about my new grinder 
Is it really meant to be better than this one? <laughs> yes, don't get mad at me. Perhaps with everything I talk about, coffee is the one area that I probably have the least knowledge on. I'm actually surprised that that video continues to be the number one video on my channel with over 10,000 hits already. So it's been a surprise to me. I'm just thankful that the YouTube gods have continued to push it despite my obvious lack of knowledge in coffee. So in this video, I won't be doing a taste test just yet. I actually wanted to save that when I have someone with me because I want to taste coffee side by side. One that is made with my new coffee grinder and the other would be using my old reliable blade grinder. So what do you think guys? Did I actually get a good deal? I hope that for those who are highly particular about the coffee brewing process that my machine will cut it, literally cut it. So yes, let's find out next time. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and happy grinding. Thanks guys!